Welcome to this lesson. In our previous lesson, we looked at the scientific method. In this lesson, we'll be looking at measurements, specifically the fundamental quantities and their in instruments. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to briefly describe the history of the SI system of measurement and also identify fundamental quantities and measurements on the instruments that are used to measure them. Now, we begin the whole system of measurement from the imperial system. So the very first concept had to do with the imperial system. Now, this system was largely introduced in Great Britain in 1824 where they used some body parts of the king to represent different measurements of length. So his foot, for example, at the time was used to measure one foot. Then the length of his arm was used to measure one yard. And then the first segment of his thumb represented an inch. Now we can see how flawed this system is, was at the time. Because as the king grew, so did his body parts. So in previous years, the size of his foot would increase in um, years later. So it wouldn't represent the size of, or the measurement or the length of the foot that it did in years before the current year of measurement. Similarly, the length of his arm would increase as the years go by. So the length that measured one yard five years ago would not measure the same yard five years later. And so having identified this problem, they had to adopt a different form of measurement, um, which was also largely adopted in France in 1965, and that was the metric system. It largely had to do with measuring the mass, and it did that in grams, and it also measured distances generally in centimeters. Now, after using this system for some time, they also realized how flawed it was. So in 1960, when they had the 11th General Conference on Weights and Measurements, Scientists across the world developed a new system. They adopted a new system which they called the system international the units. So largely the S I in System International, the shortness as the SI system or the International System of Units. Now, it came, they came by with um, a number of fundamental quantities and their measuring instruments. So in measuring mass, the unit for measuring mass was a kilogram, the symbol was small k, small g, and the subunit, the gram. And the instruments used to measure the mass was the beam balance as seen in this image. You could also use the electronic balance. Then when it comes to measuring length, we adopted the meter with the symbol small m as a unit, then the subunit is a centimeter. And the instruments for measuring length they use the meter rule. They also use the surveyor step for construction or for measuring large distances for major constructions around. And they also use the vernier calipers to measure the length of relatively small object. Like if you want to measure the length of, um, uh, the thickness of a wire, you use the vernier caliper. Then the micrometer screw gauge also measures the thickness of very small objects, like a blade, for example, or how thin a piece of paper is, you can use a micrometer screw gauge for that. And also, as you can see, it has a number of parts, the different parts that enables us to read the readings on a micrometer screw gauge. 
there can be the digital version as we see in this image and the traditional or the analog version in the previous image. Then in measuring time, we use the second. The symbol is small s, the subunit is the millisecond for measuring time. And instruments for measuring time largely include the stop clock and the watch that we put around our wrist to check the time. When it comes to measuring temperature, the thermodynamic temperature, the unit is Kelvin with a capital K and the same for the symbol capital K. The other units are degrees Celsius and in some areas we use the degrees Fahrenheit. The instruments for measuring the temperature range from the thermometer, via clinical thermometer, a medical thermometer, and the temperature gun as we know it in recent times where we have COVID and we check the temperature. Then, when it comes to measuring electric current, the unit is ampere. The symbol is capital A and the subunit is the milliampere, small e, capital A, small m and a capital A. The instrument for measuring the electric current is the ammeter, as seen in this image. Finally, when it comes to the luminous intensity, the unit for measuring that is the candela, symbol is CD. We use a photometer to measure the luminous intensity and the amount of substance is measured using the unit mole. The symbol is MOL without an E. The subunits are, it's, um, the subunit is millimole. Now in this lesson, we looked at the fundamental quantities and the various units for measuring them and their symbols. In the next lesson, we are going to continue the discussion on measurement and we'll go beyond the seven fundamental quantities we've just seen and look at a number of others we use in measurement. See you in the next lesson.